In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to import all the essential design icons into Corel Draw once and for all. My name is Michael from BMI Studios. Let's get started. First, make sure your PC is connected to the internet. So on your desktop home screen, open your browser. You can use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. On the search bar, type font awesome. Click on the first link, fontawesome.com. At the Font Awesome homepage, click on Start for Free. Scroll down a little, you will see download right beside other ways to use. Now choose for desktop. Free for desktop. Locate your downloaded file wherever you save your downloads. So I will click on the downloaded file and select extract extract files. So now op open your extracted files and right inside you see a folder called OTFS. Open that folder. And you see your font awesome fonts. So you double click on it to open and click on install. Because I've already installed the font, they asked me if I want to replace it. Let's say yes. If you haven't installed it before, they won't ask you if you want to replace it. So once the installation is done, you close it. Open a different one. Install. Once it's done, you close the folder. Same for the third one. Install. Yes. You close the folder. So once we are done installing, let's move into our design software, Corel Draw. So on your Corel Draw home screen, click on this plus icon to start a new document. Just click on OK. Use your middle mouse button to zoom out a little. So right at your frequently used toolbar, click on the plus icon. Now locate glyphs and check the box. Once the box is checked, click on glyphs. Click on the search bar for the phones. And search for font awesome. I previously had the font awesome 5 already installed, so this is it. You scroll down a little, you see font awesome. I think this is the 6. So once you click on it, you just scroll through the icon or the logo you are looking for you just scroll through they have a lot of logos and a lot of icons of brands and so let's say what's up and the most interesting thing is it's a vector base so you can change colors to whatever you want
thank you for watching don't forget to share like and subscribe as i'm hoping to bring you more interesting tutorials